Welcome to Dave Arbogast. My name is Larry. Today I'm going to be giving you a little in-depth, detailed video of a 2017 Explorer X package conversion van. Explorer is the top of the line package. This one happens to be fully loaded with a fade paint job and it's just beautiful. Uh, has the 20 inch wheels, has the power boards. We're going to go in depth a little more on all the features inside for your family and your friends. Great vehicle to be able to travel, tailgate, different football games, basketball games, anything like that that you want to do. But we're going to go a little more in depth. So maybe you've just bought a van or maybe you're looking into the market and trying to decide between a van and an SUV. And this will just show you a little more of all the features that the van has to offer and answer any questions that you might have. Here at Dave Arbogast, we have over 60 used vans in stock and over 30 new vans in stock and we ship to all 50 states. One thing you'll see on this 2017 van is we have put an aftermarket CompuStar on this vehicle for the customer. It does have an arm system. You push the lock up here. And then it also has a remote start built into it so you don't have to carry two key fobs. You'll hear it chirp and then you'll hear it start here in a second. It also has a feedback here on the front of the screen which is a little hard to see, but on the front of the screen you can actually see it actually tells you if it's running, if it's armed, if it's locked, unlocked. Um, you also have OnStar on this one, so you can pull up an app on your phone once you activate your OnStar, so you can remote start it from your phone or anything else that you want to, any, you know, from your phone or if you want to unlock, lock, anything like that. One other feature you'll see on the 2017 van is this one has the retractable running boards. Has it on the driver's side for the driver's door and also when you open here so you see the board comes out. Makes a little, little sleeker look on the, on the outside. It also makes a little bigger step here to step up. It does leave a little bit of a gap to step up, um, but it is a really nice feature. We're doing that on a lot of our vans, especially the ones going to the southern areas. A couple other features here. When we open the door, you'll see we have the pleated shades all the way around. We have lighted cup holders here. You have all your nice wood grain right here. This one has the Escalade wood in it. One other thing you have here is these two middle seats are quick release. You pull a bar underneath right here, and basically that seat just lays back. Unhook the seat belt, hook it over here to the seat, and then you can pick it up with the seat belt and actually lift the whole thing out and take it out of the vehicle so you have room to haul things or anything like that. As we move here to the rear of the van, you'll see this one has a backup camera backup sensors. It also has a tow package on it. You'll see right here, here's your sensors and as you get closer to something this will actually beep a little bit louder inside. Your backup camera is right here and it's programmed into the nav system and the IntelliLink radio. And Then you've also got a trailering package with a four pin and a seven pin plug there at the bottom. Receiver you have to put on yourself. One other thing this one has in the back when we open the doors here, you'll see one thing these doors do lay back 90 degrees to the van. We also have a sofa bed here in the back that has a slider on it. This will slide forward and allow you to have 30 inches deep and 51 inches wide of cargo space in the back or you can slide it all the way back and now you have 24 inches deep and 51 inches wide and then it also lays down into a three-piece sofa bed. And when you shut the doors, all you really need to do is remove these headrests. They just have a little tab on them. You take those off and then you can shut the doors so you can have it laid down into a bed. A couple other features you'll see here in the back is we do have the jack area right here. And you'll see there's a little bag in here. This actually has your special lug in it. So if you would have to take the rims off, that's what your dealer or whoever's going to do it would be looking for. Um, you do have roadside assistance with the 2017 vehicle, three years or so, 36,000 miles. So there's an 800 number in your book that you can call and they'll take care of coming out just like AAA would do. You also have a small vacuum right here inside this door. You also have a leather bag right here that has all your books for all the conversion items in it. Um, it's actually the same leather that's made, your seats are made from. And you also have an air compressor there in the side. One other feature here when we step inside the van here over top of the sofa bed, you'll see we have a sunroof. This just slides back with your hand and then you have an open and a close. The nice thing about this is, let's say I want to store that it opens right there. All I have to do is hold this button. You heard it beep. Now if I hit the C button, it'll close. Now anytime I want to open that same position, I don't have to hold the big buttons. I just push the one. It's got a memory and it'll open there. Now if I want to run it all the way back, 
I just push that arrow. That is as wide open as it gets. And I can actually store that as number two. And now anytime I push number two, it'll open completely by itself. And it does also close by itself when you turn the key off. We do have a van equipped with two wireless headphones, also has a Blu-ray player in the bottom, and also has a 29 inch flat screen up here in the top. And this takes about five minutes, but what it'll do is it'll search and it'll see if it can pick up any local channels. Now the only time you're really gonna get to view these channels is when you're sitting still in a parking lot or something. So if you're tailgating or something like that, you have the van running and you wanna see if you can pick up your local channels, you may be able to pick up some local stuff, but as soon as you start to move, you will lose those channels. Um, because it just can't hold on to that digital signal and it will scramble everything. These are also both smart TV and smart Blu-ray player. So if you can hotspot your phone or use the Wi-Fi that's provided in the vehicle, uh, which you do get three months free uh, with limited three gigabytes per month, you can use that and hotspot so you can do Netflix or Hula or any of those spots like that or pull up the internet in the back. Now once your three months is over, then they do charge a fee for that, and that's something that your OnStar people will go over with you when you do your welcome call. As you can see, it's still searching here. Um, so far it's found three channels. Some days you can pick up a lot of channels, some days you can pick up a few. If you notice up in the TV there, you'll, uh, beside it, you'll see two speakers. Uh, when there's a speaker switch down here on the sidewall, when it's flipped, you can actually hear the movie through those two speakers. Um, and also two speakers here in the back above your head. Those are only for the television when that's pushed and you're not using the headphones. Now you can see this is almost done here. I'm gonna hit the OK button. And there's, there's some of your local channels right there. There's channel, that was channel seven. Here's channel 7.2. There's 7.3, what it's picking up today. Right now it's just picking up channel seven, which is our local CBS channels. And you'll see that it plays there. And then if I flip the TV speaker switch down there, the sound would come through these. As we step here to the cabin area, you'll see we have a lot of features right here in the center of the cabin. Uh, we're gonna start with the IntelliLink radio. This is GMC's radio. You'll see right now it's turned off. If I push here, it'll show what's playing. But if I push the little home button, it'll pop up the full screen. It has three pages to it. The ones that are lit up, like here, the XM radio is active. These other ones aren't active until you actually put in a disc. Um, if you hook up your phone to the USB port to put up uh, Pandora or Stitcher or one of those, if you want to activate, once you Bluetooth your phone, um, the Bluetooth will light up and so will the texting. So if somebody texts you a message, it'll actually pop up on your screen. I'm gonna go back to the home screen here. You have navigation on this one. There's your map. And you can also hit the little screen here. And you can change the view, like right there it shows half map, half of what you're listening to. If I hit the menu button again, it'll pull up like, if you wanna do a search for points of interest or show a point of interest on the map, restaurants, gas stations, anything like that. And if I hit the back button up here, it'll go back to that screen. I'm gonna go back to the home. If you want to put in a destination, you just hit here. You can put address entry, points of interest. Um, like here, if I want to search for uh, name. Let's say I want to search for the Air Force Museum. And there it pops up, there's the Air Force Museum. I can hit that, it shows that it's in Dayton, Ohio. It's about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes away. And if I wanna start a guidance, I can just hit start guidance and it'll take me there. It'll give me all the turn by turn and tell me where to go. If I go back to this screen, um, if you wanna activate your Bluetooth, you hit the phone settings. Here I'm gonna pair device. And what you wanna do is you go on your phone. I happen to have an Android phone. I go to my settings, I go to Bluetooth. I'm going to scan. It popped up on my phone with GMC conversion bay or GMC Savannah. I hit that button. It says, does it pass code? I'm gonna hit yes on my phone. I'm also gonna hit yes right here. 
and now my phone is paired to this vehicle. Um, a couple other things I can do with it then is I can delete it off, which I will, or I can go back. Now if I go to that second page again, you'll see Bluetooth is lit up. And then if I go back here to the phone settings, now I can hit contacts. And I can either punch in the number I want to call. Let's say uh, that would be the phone number for the dealership. I hit call. It'll dial it on my phone. I can also hit the button here on the steering wheel and I can actually speak the number or say call Dave Arbogast GMC and it'll actually call it on my phone. As you see here, now that I've Bluetoothed my phone, I've received a text message, so all I have to do is hit view, and it'll actually come up and show me the text message, which on there was nothing, but I can also hit play, text message. and it just says text message because that's what I had him send to me. But if somebody sends you a message, it'll pop up on your screen, you can hit view, you can view it right there while you're driving and not have to be holding on to your phone and not be texting back. You can also text back, but you can speak in like a Bluetooth would do instead of actually picking up your phone and sitting there trying to turn to text back, which isn't safe and we don't encourage at all. As we talked about the backup cameras and the backup sensors, you'll see here when I put the vehicle into reverse, there's your backup camera. It also has lines, so as you turn, you see the lines move with you. So it kind of gives you what's around you so you don't hit anything. And also you heard it beep once there when I put it in reverse. Now right now there's nothing behind me, but if there was something close behind me, it would start to beep. The closer I get to that, that item, it would start to beep louder. So I know there's something back there if there's a child or a, another vehicle or anything like that. And then once I put it back into park or drive, that screen goes away. As we move up here to the top of the van, you'll see up here in the center between the driver and the passenger seat, there's a little range of buttons there. One, we have home link. You've got three buttons right here that you can program to do a garage door. Um, if you have lighting that requires a remote, or if you have like a power gate or something in your community that re requires a remote, you can program those all into that so you don't have to have the things hanging up on your visor. You can just walk up and push the button and it'll open the garage door or open the gate or whatever you're putting in there. We also have some li lights right here. This is your center lights up in the ceiling in the back. You also have lights underneath the ballast in the back over the big windows on the sides. And then you also have cabinet lights. So in the back cabinet there is a light um, that lights up when you do that. And then the last one is driving lights and that's your little LEDs there in the front um, down on the underside. You also have rear air controls up here. If I turn it here, it's turned off. If I turn it here, they can control it from the controls in the back. And then also if I turn it here, I can control it from up here. One other thing we have up here in the front you'll see is we have heated seats on the two front seats. We also have a lumbar control right here. And then you also have an eight-way power seat and power recline. So you can hit this button right here. That leans it back and then you can go up, down, left, right. And then as we move here you also got a cooler up here in the front. And this just, you can put in whatever your favorite beverage is, put some ice in there. That comes out so you can take it out and dump it when it melts. And then you just put the, uh, it's got a cover right here and a little button on the top. And that just sits down in there. So it makes it nice if you're traveling, you can throw some water or whatever in there and be able to keep it cold while you're driving. A couple other features here in the front, you'll see we have a driver information center. And what this does is like this top button does your mileage, does your trips, does your fuel range, fuel economy, fuel use, how long the engine's been running, um, the average speed, your, there's your tachometer. It also has, if you notice there in the corner, it has your direction and your temperature. If you want to reset one of these, you just hold the button at the bottom. That resets it. As we move down to the second button, this one's going to show your oil life. It's going to show your park assist is on, which is your sensors in the back. It shows it's in English. <laughs> shows your tire pressure monitors there. Shows your engine hours and then does a compass if you wanted to recalibrate, which you won't have to do. Um, the bottom button, the next third one down, you'll see has all your door locks. And if you want to change something like your unlock, I can push there. And now all the doors will unlock when you put it in park. And it just goes through a bunch of different options there. Um, if we go back to like your exit lighting,
I can change the timing of it by pushing that third button again. Let's say we're going to put it to one minute. I push that, now it goes to one minute. And if I want to go back to my mileage, I just hit the top button, it goes back there. I've also got automatic lights in this vehicle and also have power mirrors, power locks, and there's just a little knob right here on the door. As you see, you turn left and right. There's three settings on it. If you turn it this way, you can do this mirror over here. If you turn it this way, you can do that mirror over there. And then your power windows and power locks, these just slide just like that. Here on the steering wheel, you'll see we have your cruise control on the left-hand side and all your radio controls here on the right. This is also how you answer your phone. You push that button right there and you can answer your phone with that. And it will obviously take the radio off and play your phone message through there or you can have it switch back to your phone if you don't want the other people in the van to be able to hear it. Thank you for viewing our detailed video of the 2017 van. Hope this video has answered a few of the questions you had about the vans. And if you have any that we haven't answered or you have some more questions or just need some more information, please give me a call, Larry, at 855-395-9443, extension 294. You can visit us on the web at gmcconversionvans.com. And also, if you happen to be traveling through Ohio, we're located at exit 69. Look for the giant American flag out front and look forward to assisting you.